Hey, my name's James Dixon. I hope you guys are well. Inflation was up. You probably saw the video I did earlier today on that one. If not, go and check it out. But inflation rose from 3.9% to 4%. Logically, that would mean that banks maybe would pause interest rate drops, but they're not. Nearly every lender is cutting rates today, or they have done yesterday, and there's some more expected cuts on the way. This is very, very good news. So we're going to cover that and more in this video. If you haven't done already, do subscribe to the channel over there and hit the bell notification. We're now on the way to 20,000 subscribers. We just hit 19,000 the other day. So thank you to every one of you that subscribes to the channel. And as always, we want to get the message out about these videos. So do smash the like button, tickle the like button, do something to the like button. That really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. We had 2 million views last year. My target this year is to get 5 million views. So you're going to need to hit that button right now to help us on that journey. So what's going on? Well, this video, I'm going to talk about residential mortgages and buy to let. I'm going to make it clear which is which. And the buy to let lenders are absolutely dropping rates at a huge amount, 1.2 basis points, which will make a lot of sense in a minute. It's a big drop for buy to let, um, which is very, very good. So what's going on? Well, it's interesting. I saw one of the economists saying lenders aren't doing this out of the kindness of their heart. Banks haven't suddenly got morally uh, morals and thinking, you know what, they've had a really tough time with inflation over the last couple of years. Let's give these guys a hand and reduce borrowing costs. What's happened is sales dropped off a cliff at the end of last year. Now, sales for the year were down around 15%. And that meant that a lot of people just aren't moving and they need deals to happen in order for profits to happen in the bank. And so because of that, at the end of last year, banks started cutting rates. Even as interest rates were going up, banks were cutting interest rates. Then we had the pause from the Bank of England, and that still didn't indicate that rates should come down, but they did mortgage rates that we could borrow at, kept tumbling and tumbling and tumbling. Then we've had inflation going up, which meant that a lot of people would feel that they might pause. But the outlook for inflation is, well, it's at 4% today. We're still expecting it to drop below 2% by April. And if you look in the media today, go and look on the main national newspapers' websites. They're not really interested in the inflation story anymore because it's not as exciting as when it was 11%. Not so much doom and gloom around it. So who is cutting rates? There's a lot of people cutting rates today. Santander is a big lender. Santander have cut their rates Skipton Building Society. So I'm going to list them because some of you at the moment right now, this is a, a common question or statement of facts or a comment that you guys put on the channel is that you're just waiting to see if rates improve or there's a lot of you that have got deals coming up in the summer and so you just want to see what's going on in the market. So have a look on the, the websites of these companies. Look on the comparison sites. Speak to a broker and look on the sites as well. Uh, now, the websites might not get updated today, so they've done press releases. Might take a day or two till you can get these rates. Coventry Building Society as well is another big lender. Metro Bank's a big one. TSB. NatWest. And HSBC. All of these lenders have cut their rates in the last day. One that's absent from this, which is interesting, is one called Nationwide, which they do a lot of cuts. In fact, they've done, I think, 14 cuts, um, tiny little cuts, but still they've dropped their, their rates about 14 times. And they do that to get the headline. Now, what I think's happening with Nationwide is I think that so many lenders have dropped their rates Nationwide had uh, queries from the press. Why haven't you dropped your rates? You're the one that's constantly leading the market and dropping your rate. They said they would drop it when they feel there's necessary for that to happen. What I feel that's happened is I think they're good at marketing. If all of these companies are dropping rates and then you drop your rate, you're going to be included in this. And so you're not going to get much news coverage from it. If you wait a week, 
They've all been forgotten here and then you cut the rate, then you get the headline on your own. That's a good marketing strategy. So I think that's what Nationwide are doing. So rates are continuously dropping, which is really, really positive news. Now let's talk buy to let, because buy to let is something that the rates haven't been as good as they could have been. Um, but the Mortgage Works is a big, big lender. I think they're part of Halifax. I always get this wrong way around. Um, but the Mortgage Works on the buy to let stance, they have just done a very big drop. And this is great for me. I've got a deal with the Mortgage Works that comes up in February. It's at 1.39%, which is so good. I wish I could extend it um, or I wish I at the time fixed it for longer, but I didn't. We couldn't have foreseen what was going to happen. But they've just cut their rates by 1.2% down. That is a lot. Now, that is a huge difference for a buy-to-let lender as opposed to these ones that are residential here because on buy-to-let we pay interest only so this here makes a very very big difference this 1.2 percent so what are their headline rates that they've got at the moment they've got the headline rate is 3.69 percent which is really really good now if you look on mortgage work sites they had quite a few deals that they used to have, or they still do have some of these, where they've got a 3% fee. That's a lot. Um, so that would take that up to nearly 6%, wouldn't it, in total. They've actually got rid of some of these. So if you've got a bigger mortgage, I've got, uh, so I've got some dorking properties that I want to refinance with them at the moment. And so they're worth like 250. So that means the fee would be six, seven grand for those. Uh, type of properties. Now, they've just made a fixed fee, which I know some of you are going to gasp at how much this is. But if you're a buy-to-let investor, this, this is actually pretty good. Um, it's 3995 fixed fee. You could be borrowing a million quid, and then it wouldn't be so bad on that. So Mortgage Works is really, really leading the market on the buy-to-let side of things now. Um, and what you've got to understand is a lot of buy-to-let investors... If we looked a year ago, they just wouldn't have been able to refinance. If they refinanced at the time, then they would have been losing money every single month. With these rates, you can add this fee to your lending. And if you borrowed that over two years or five years, you're hoping that the market will recover in that time somewhat. Five years is a little bit more certain than two for sure on that front. But you're getting an affordability. You're going to pass the affordability test and the stress test, which means you're not going to have to put an additional um, like deposit down on that property. So that means you could potentially keep your property rather than have to top up your deposit. So I think these are a really, really positive moves. It's sounding like we're going to get some more rate reductions from lenders this week. But the Bank of England side of things, it does look that maybe because the inflation went back up, maybe it will take another month or so. Um, so they were talking about interest rate cuts in May. Maybe it will be June. Who knows? Uh, it really depends. If we do see inflation down to 2% by April, things could change drastically. So this all in all is really, really positive news. Um, it's great to see these lenders moving things forward. Um, and that's what I want to know. What do you think? Do you think now's the time to refinance if you're waiting do comment below. Uh, what do you think of these rates? Do you think there's more to come? Let's have a conversation around this. Do smash the like button. If you haven't checked out the fundamentals of property investing, we nearly got 200 people in that now. I'd love you guys to invest in that. It's a very, very affordable price. You've got all these other gurus selling courses and programs for thousands of pounds. This is less than 50 quid. And so I'm going to put a link in the description so you can grab the fundamentals of property investing for less than £50. Go and grab that now. The price will keep rising as we get more members into that, but it's an absolute no-brainer, one-off cost to do that. Now, go and check out some more content on my channel, including this video right here.